Hey guys, this is The Card Collector, and today is Thursday Mail Days. I haven't done a Thursday Mail Days in about, oh, I don't know, three weeks maybe? It could even be a month. I'm not even sure. So today, we are just going to go through uh, everything I picked up, mostly cards. There's a few other things. So let's uh, get right into this right now. Bought this on eBay from a local buyer. Didn't have to pay shipping. Just picked her up. So you got a coal cylinder. I am collecting coal cylinder. Coal cylinder. And we got a coal cylinder black young gun canvas. So these were, I think, two per case. I haven't pulled a lot of them. Of course, I've opened, I don't know how many boxes. Seven, eight, nine boxes so far. So that's a pretty uh, nice one. Looks very clean. A little off center left or right, but what are you going to do? So those will go into the Cylinder PC, Private Collection. Next, we got this little package uh, envelope. This was shipped on January, February, March, April, May, June 20th. Not, I know it's not cards. Something to do with Montreal. We'll see what we got. Oh, there we go. We're going to open her up. Make sure there's no names or anything on it. Not that I can see. I know this is not hockey. But this is wrestling. And if you're a wrestling fan, this is going to be pretty cool. So, this is signed memorabilia of some... Of probably the best wrestlers. So first we got very young Randy Orton. When he, this is like a 5 by 6 maybe. This photo is his younger autograph. You can see actually she's out, or signs Randy Orton. You can see the Randy. You can see a lot of the Orton in there. I think he's going to be a future Hall of Famer. We got Test. Sadly he passed years ago. Decided just to... Uh, buy that autograph definitely or assigned in the early 2000s a lot of this stuff was this is i have no idea how it goes but uh, that is a john cena autograph an early john cena autograph i think it's like this maybe don't know so we'll have to uh psa dna authenticate and the last one it's pretty nice. This is a Randy Orton, full Randy Orton. You can actually see the Randy Orton. This is uh, from a signing that he did in Ontario, I believe. Absolutely awesome. We're going to get that uh, PSA uh, in my pile of PSA photos. Next package. Sadly, this package got a little ruined in shipping. That cut mark is not mine. But the cards are still in it, thankfully. So uh, we're going to get cut this right now. I uh, never cut downwards because I can always cut the card. So I always cut sideways. And here it is. Another guy I am uh, very strongly collecting. Cole Perfetti. I think he's going to be an absolute great player. I don't know what Canada Post was doing cutting packages, but... Uh, as long as the card wasn't missing. Cole Perfetti, Young Gun. I like it. Looks uh, very nice. They Picking them up for like $10 to $15 shipped. If anybody has them between $10 to $15 shipped, I will buy them in a heartbeat. Because I think he is going to be a $30, $40, $50 Young Gun with the Winnipeg Rebuild. Next, we got the, the Major Wrestling Figures Podcast. I don't know. This is my first time buying their uh, Patreon to get the card. I'm a, if anybody has a Patreon that you get a free card every month, I usually uh, I'm a part of different Patreons. So I think it's 20 bucks. Facebook group and stuff. Uh, okay, we got uh, just a basic of VSK. Don't know what that stands for. Don't really know about him. Again, just been... Uh, about maybe a month now that I've been in the group. So there's that package. 
Next, we've got a package from the good old USA again. And then that is what I said. I don't cut them like that, and uh, I cut it like that. It's kind of funny. But I wanted to make sure... Oh, and that's not a way to ship a card, but that's okay. Bought this off the site. And that's not the way to ship a card. If anybody knows me, I collect a lot of Chelsea Green cards. And I got four out of 100. Don't know why they shipped it like that, but uh, there it is. So, same set. It's just every month they put out a different card. Next. Got a package. Not really sure. Could be because uh, it's in a one touch. Probably a hockey card, I'm guessing. Try to open this. Like, it's like the most weirdest packaging I've ever seen. So we got a Ryan Reeves Young Gun. Picked it up on, uh, I believe, eBay. It was pretty cheap. And there's a piece of cardboard. I don't know if it was, the guy never taped it or anything. He just kind of threw the card. Okay. So we got a Ryan Reeves. Young Gun. Next, another package. This was shipped on June 25th, so about a month. We're just going to carefully... I don't know what's in it, so... I'm just going to uh, rip it just like that. Oh, okay. The Chelsea Green... Uh, oh, I got a sticker too. California Breaks and Bros. Collectors. There you go, and I got the green, uh, pink, so there was like a color variant, a base, I believe the base is in here too. And we got some cardboard, I like how they ship that. Very cool. This is probably the base, guessing from the 20, or the 21st or whatever. Some of these shipping, man, especially uh, not hockey card related. Uh, weirdest shipping I've ever seen, like in a Ziploc bag. Really weird. Not hating on the guy, just one of those things. And we got the Chelsea Green. Stop buying toys. All right. So you got the base, you got this one, and you got the auto. There you go. Completed the trifecta. Next. Nice little package from Instagram. I remember actually buying this one. We got Cole Perfetti. Again, like I said, I've been collecting him. Very cool. Dyson Mayo. I remember him being a part of the Edmonton Oil Kings. I met him, oh, many, many times autographing. And a Brady Kachuk. Sadly, his brother got traded, Matthew. But uh, how can you go wrong owning a Kachuk? Especially Brady. From the USA again. May have to cut it from the back. Don't want to show my address. Another again. Another weird shipping. Make sure it has no addresses. Some tape. Tape up here. That. Yeah. Okay, we got Ty Conti, now an AEW, that's her first autograph rookie, that is an NXT first, and Gigi Dolan, probably uh, this is out of 199, if you're a wrestling fan, you know who she is, part of a tra uh, toxic attraction, got this package. Very hard package to get into. Again, with the Ziploc bags. That is uh, crazy. I never got any videos of uh, anybody with Ziploc bags, and I got two in the same video. Oh, and stuff sliding out. Maybe that's why the Ziploc bag was there. Okay, so that can go in there. All right, let's show what we got. We got first, we got Jake Ottinger Stud. Did pretty good against the Flames. Quinn Hughes, young gun. Bo Horvat, I know a Canuck guy. Maybe he'd be interested. We got uh, 
Flames autograph. Don't know if I need it or not. Maybe we'll go in the Flames collection. Uh, we got, uh, is it Gavin? Borkland. Rathbone. Vancouver. We got some Connor McKay. I think we did a little trade on those. Matthew Kachuk. Cole Perfetti. Again, collecting him. Another uh, Goudreau without a sleeve. That's all right. Johnny Goudreau. Kachuk. Like all X Flames now. Romanov that was traded in that crazy trade in the draft. Bales, the franchise duos, and a Leland Irving. Out uh, uh, BGG or BCGG, whatever, 10. And the last package, we got, it is wrestling related. I'll cut this open. Another weird way of sending cards. It's in a mailer. It's kind of weird, so we'll crack this open. Oh. And I got my John Moxley death match autograph card. There we go. From GCW. All right, guys. Well, thank you for tuning in. Sorry for the long video. I hope you guys like, subscribe, share. Tomorrow we are doing Friday Night Breaks. We will be opening something. What I am opening, I'm not sure. So thank you, guys. Have a good day. Have a good night. I'm the Card Collector, and I'm out.